earlier, Don Riddell spoke with Gavin Hickey, he's author of the book Rugby Revealed. It's really, really unfair uh, on the England staff and players, to be honest. Um, yes, it's, it's a massive disappointment for, for England, for their fans, for the country, but it's, it's a huge disappointment for the players and the staff. They've been preparing for this moment for, for four years, three and a half under Stuart Lancaster. And, um, you know, it, it was almost a lose-lose. They're in, they're in the toughest pool that I've ever seen in a World Cup. And unfortunately, somebody had to lose. And, and, and sadly, it's the host nation. Where did they go wrong? And to what extent is Stuart Lancaster responsible, do you think? You know, I, I have a huge amount of time and respect for Stuart Lancaster. I think he's instilled a fantastic culture within the England squad that, that perhaps was missing. I think he's developed a huge number of, of players that are very exciting going forward for the next four years into the next cycle. Um, but hand on heart, if I'm being really, really honest, and I think it's probably out of his control a little bit, I think England really missed um, Manu Tuolagi in centre. And I also think that England really missed Stefan Armitage from Toulon. Um, playing in France, um, Stuart Lancaster's hands were a little bit tied about uh, Stefan Armitage. But I think those two players would have made a huge difference to England. Those aren't sentiments that we're hearing too much of in England at the moment. There does seem to be... Uh, a lot of criticism of Stuart Lancaster directly. Uh, what do you think his chances are of actually hanging on to this job? You know, I watched the interview with him post-game um, yesterday, and that must have been the toughest moment of his coaching career is to, to face the camera and face questions immediately after such a heartbreaking defeat against Australia. And he was asked the question, um, will, will he stay on? And, and he admitted that it's not up to him, and it's not. And realistically, I would imagine that England will, will look to change things. But again, I think it's a little unfair. I don't believe in long-term development of, of rugby, international rugby teams just working in four-year cycles. I think that you know, an eight-year cycle would be, would be far more applicable and long-term would be far more beneficial. But it is what it is. This is international test rugby. And unfortunately, England underperformed. And um, realistically, I'd say he's probably gone.